How did the chicken get in the nether in the first place? How you doing, YouTube? And welcome to episode 3 of Comicraft, a modded SMP server about superheroes and Naruto. We actually haven't really touched anything of Naruto yet, and I haven't I haven't heard Crimson mention anything about Naruto yet. What what's this? A few gifts from Kakyoin. Oh, this is Sonic. One of my friends on the server. Please don't blow yourself up. I got it from a rare mod. Really? Well, let's have a look. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got a lot of... Oh, I got a red diamond. A uh, ruby. Vibranium. Ooh, that, that's actually useful for some of the superhero armor. But I don't think my hero uses it. Well, thank you so much, Kakyoken. I will definitely make good use out of these, out of these items. Wait, this isn't a pork chop. This is Ursa. Like the bear? Don't know. Use for the nether. Oh. <laughs> You're going to sell me obsidian. I get it. Put these in the crafting grib together. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is the stuff that Crimson was telling me about. Last night he told me that he left a chest of stuff outside of the cake. What the heck? Do you mind? Okay, back to looking at what's in the chest. A book and an emerald. Hero Suits Catalog. I'm interested. I guess I better close the door so that I can be completely safe. Let's get into bed and read some comics. Okay. Introduction. Oh, this is the, um, this is the table of contents. Okay. Introduction. Alternate suits. Why isn't my suit working? Where did my points go? Can you add character? Can you add blah 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 blah? Oh, this is like forum stuff. Okay, so this catalog um, talks about all of the uh, different, all of the different heroes that are in Scarlet Witch. I think I'm gonna do her next after I'm done with uh, obtaining Invisible Woman's armor. Ooh, now we get into the DC comics. Well, damn, they don't have Zatanna, nor do they have. Um, Doctor Strange. That's a bit of a bummer right there. But yay, at least now we have a catalog of all of the heroes that we're gonna need. You feel your soul being drained. What? I kinda need that. That's what happens when they hit you. They drain your soul. I don't exactly know what exactly that does, but... Oh well. Alright. Now I've got the piece of obsidian. Now I just need the flint and tinder. And I also need this guy to die. I also need to revisit the shop because, um, since last time, Crimson added the, um, vending blocks mod, which I think is going to make everything so much more easier. What's this behind the counter? A point converter. I'm not sure what that is, and I'm not sure I want to stand on it. Use only when editing, vending, change amount as needed. Okay. No abusing, though. <laughs> do I really look like someone who would abuse my own system? Crimson? Do I? Okay, well, now that we have the vending blocks, I don't see a need to have them sitting behind the counter. I think we can actually put them on the counter this time. So, now that I'm done with updating a few things in the shop, I am going to see if I can kill these things before they kill me. I need some freaking flint and tinder. Die. Where do you guys even come from? All I want is some freaking flint and tinder. Is that so hard to ask for? Got like one iron ingot. It looks like I'm gonna have to go down to the caves and look for some more iron, but not right now. Flint and tinder. Yes, I've got it. Now I can successfully go to the nether. Whoops. No, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Now just use the handy dandy flint and tinder to activate the portal. Okay, so a uh, word to Crimson. If you want to turn the portal off, you don't have to break the portal. All you have to do is pour a little water on it and the portal disappears. Okay, now I need some... What do I need, actually? A brewing stand. Okay, um... How do I make a brewing stand? I need a blaze rod and 
What the hell is all this? I guess I can just use regular stone? Okay, so I need to kill some blazes. What in the blazes is chasing me? Why are you hurting me? I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything to any of the of the pigmen here. Why are they attacking me? They're supposed to be nice. Why are the zombie pigmen angry at me? I didn't do anything to them. Well, I did something now because I had no choice. Blooming power stone. I got a blooming power stone, mate. Are you friendly now? Maybe they're hostile when the when that big zombie pigment is around. That would explain a lot, actually. Nether stone. I think there's a what you call it here. Ooh, a dungeon. Oh, what a disappointing dungeon. Were there supposed to be spawners here? Yes, a blaze spawner. Yes, blazes. Did I get a blaze rod? I got two blaze rods. Great. Grand sword. This is a big fella right here. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of golden carrots. So, how does one make a golden carrot? That's how you do it. That's how you make a golden carrot. I'm gonna have to waste all of my golden nuggets on making carrots. One of the things that I need is spider's eye. There. How many spider's eyes do I have? Seven! Okay, great. So I have the correct amount. I have more than the correct amount, actually. Just one extra. Please let there be nether warts somewhere down here. Whoa. That staircase leads to certain death. Not going there. Nope. Nope, I'm not letting you wither me. Ooh. Oh my god. Nether, nether wart. The perfect amount. Okay, now all I have to do is find some soul sand. Okay, now that I can run again. Whoa, my god, that almost ended in disaster. <laughs> That'll teach me not to mine too fast. Oh, hello. Where am I? Ooh, has anybody been here yet? Glowstone. What are the odds it would be right here? What will I use this glowstone for? I have honestly no idea, but I'm taking it anyway. There had better be some good stuff down here. I don't think anybody has been here just yet, as of yet. A chest! Diamond! Oh my freaking gosh. Should have brought a backpack with me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. So much yes. Nether wart! And soul sand! Oh my freaking gosh, yes, so much yes. I found everything I needed today. We can make our own netherrack farm. Yes. Now all I have to do is run back up to my portal. Assuming I can find it. Is that a zombie pigman on a chicken? Is the chicken evil? Nope, he's just here. How did a chicken get in the nether in the first place? Just some things we will never know. Now, if only I can get myself out of here, look at all this fire. Something tells me I'm on the right track. Alfred, honey, I'm home. The bank has guards. Are you freaking serious? What is that doing behind the tills? Oh, for crying out loud. Right now, I need some silver coins. I will take two of your finest silver coins, please. What are you doing in our home? How dare you? It's a guest, it's a guest. Sakes alive and I'll be blessed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can make the cloth that I need. Okay, I've made another brewing stand, so hopefully this actually works. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. I meant to put the brewing stand here. Now, can I put the cauldron here? Oh, I sure can. Looks nice in this texture pack, too. Oh, I get it. So the awkward potion comes out here. It doesn't come out here like it's supposed to in the crafting recipe. Well, now I'm just plain confusled. Die! Everyone die! I need the monies. By the way, what the hell are these... These, um, blind bag tiers? This is tier two. What do I... What happens? Squirrel Girl's tunic. <gasps> oh my god. 
Are you freaking kidding me? What's this? Mr. Fantastic's tunic. What? Oh my god. It was just off. I need Mrs. Fantastic's tunic, actually. But, hey, at least I've got something. Excellent, excellent. And that's the correct amount of cloth that I actually need. We can finally make Mrs. Fantastic's emblem. Right. And for the diamond. And it didn't make what I needed. Why didn't it make what I need? I need a freaking block of diamond. Oh. Well, that's irritating. Is that who I think it is? He's a realm shifter. Okay, great. I would love to trade with him. So the realm shifter is not interested in trading any of his realm stones. He just... Actually, I have got a ton of these Haven Realm Stones. Abyss Realm Stone. Nope, 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 nope. Haven! Oh my goodness, yes! I cannot believe I was actually able to trade with that Realm Shifter. This means I can get all the diamonds that I properly need. Ow. Die. Seven. Eight. Nine. Fantastic! Block of diamond. Ah, so that's what it looks like in this texture pack. Great. Are you freaking kidding me? I made this block of diamond for nothing? Maybe I need quartz blocks? I've got plenty of quartz, so that should be possible. Oh my god, yes, finally! Wow, who's the dingbat who left the door open? It was probably me. <laughs> yes, finally! The final awkward potion has been created. Finally, we have all six potions of invisibility. Now all I have to do is store them away. Okay, so I have been doing quite a bit of grinding around, and I've managed to get some more iron to make an anvil. It takes like three blocks of iron, so I was mining for quite a little bit. Also, I've discovered what those bags do. Those, um, those blind bags. They give you different kinds of superhero armor, or, um, clothing, or their uniform, or whatever it is. And apparently the Ninja Turtles are involved. <laughs> apparently. But I've also been doing some extra brewing, and I think I am finally ready, and I think I finally have all the materials I need to make Wonder Woman armor. Invisible Woman Armor. Why do I keep saying Wonder Woman? Is my mind, like, stuck on Crazy Craft or something? And some red cloth on the bottom, or black cloth at the bottom. We've got... Wonder Woman's chest plate. Or the torso. And two invisibility potions on the top corners. Mr. Fantastic's boots. Okay, well, what if we add a potion of invisibility on the side? We get Invisible Woman's boots. Fantastic. We have all of Invisible Woman's armor. Now let's put it on. Let's take this off. And let's see what I look like. I look like Nightmare Fuel. Whoa! Oh my god, I got extra speed! Whoa. What's hitting me? <gasps> Scruffies! I've seen these before, but I didn't know- Did they cut? Did that come from the nether? So apparently I can jump at a far distance, and I can fly, finally. It's about time. Wow! Did I just get extra strength? Let's test out the force field ability. Okay. It's just particle effects. Alright, so that's how that works. My force fields are particle effects that are like a- that form a bubble around my body, and it tosses... It tosses mobs away. Now let's have a look and see what the, um, second ability does. Alright. Unless I'm carrying something, that ability is pretty cool. It makes me almost completely invisible. Oh gosh. <laughs> this outfit gives me boobies. I've always wanted this. 
So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And... Excuse me. Also, I finally have enough coins, if I can just land. I finally have enough coins to get a gold coin. Oh, that's not how you do it, Seth. This is how you do it. So now I can finally get another sapphire ore. So while that is smelting, I'm going to go and retrieve my other sapphire ore. Kind of going to miss this perfect this perfect rainbow I've got going on here, but I need that ultra powerful sword. The most powerful sword that I can have right now. The sapphire sword and man does it look fancy. Plus 10 attack damage, I am going to be unstoppable. Especially with this hero armor. Let's see if I can find, um, some Kryptonians. Oh my. Yep, they're all still here. Look at them trying to kill me, but my psychic force field is... They are no match for it. This is going to lag the entire server so much. So, as I was saying before the server crashed, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I thank you for watching.